Well, I've defined uh, several other elements of the model uh, off screen, including uh, consumption by capitalists, consumption by bankers. What I want to do here is define consumption by workers. And I'm going to use a value of 0 0.04 uh, for the time constant for workers. And what that is saying is that without any other inflows into their accounts, workers would spend all the money in their bank accounts in one twenty-fifth of a year, which is about two weeks. And that's uh, the one way to think about these time constants. The beauty of them, as opposed to using just a straight number and multiplying, uh, is that you can say, well, uh, what makes sense for a worker? How long could they survive, uh, or the, work, the capital working class could survive without cash flows into their bank accounts? We're seeing this coronavirus right now. The answer is not very long at all. Uh, if you're a banker or a capitalist, you can last a bit longer, so you use the larger number there. So I'm going, that's, that's the reason for the choice of values here. I'll put that out to say is that they could survive so m m most likely for, say, roughly a month and as little as uh, um, one week, which is the f roughly a 50th of a year, and use a step size of 0 0.01 there. And then I click on OK, and then I now divide the deposit account sum by workers by the rate of time constant, and I then get the consumption by workers. Now, that actually defines the entire model. And I'll just actually quickly do a bit of formatting here. Notice these objects down the bottom here. These are the, the tools that you work with in Minsky, and one of them is a note. So let's click on the, the note, bring it up here, double click, and I now type consumption just to indicate that this is actually working out the rates of consumption. Uh, again, I could have investment in there as well, but this is just a very simple model. So having done that, I can now just tidy things up a bit, make things a bit more compact. I've now got a running model, so I'll just quickly hit the run key. I don't think I've got any errors there, I'll soon find out. Hit the run key and see what happens, and you can see the values are changing and have now settled down on the overall model, and time is ticking over here after 56 years so far. Well, let's just stop and put some graphs in. So this is the symbol for a graph in Minsky. Click on the widget. Hang on, what happened there? Try again, click. OK, there, there's a, a graph. Um, you can resize by grabbing hold of the resizing arrows that turn up on objects like this and the, the godly table as well. And let's look at the amount of money in bank accounts here. So I'll take a copy of the, uh, we've got K, OK, there's the, the debt of capitalists, copy that. Drag it over here, attach it to the top of the four inputs on graphs. We're going to modify that sometime soon, but this will uh, it works fine at the moment. So there is the deposit account of firms, the deposit account of workers, which is here, and the, de the um, deposit account of capitalists, which I haven't put in here, there was KD can search for all these things, by the way, but I'm doing a bit more manually. And I've put some of the wires in the wrong spot there, so I just actually, when you see a blue dot on a wire, you've got it highlighted. So I can I could grab that and bend the object if I wanted to, but I actually want to delete that wire and delete that one and delete that one. Uh, actually, OK, I want to hang on to um, drag KD up here. That's the deposit accounts of capitalists. That's the deposit account of firms and that's of workers and just to um, put everything together on one chart I can also use the inputs on the other other side of this chart here so I'll also include uh, uh, this, this doesn't work all particularly well in Minsky at the moment but I'll just I'll use it nonetheless uh, notice the blue dot there. I can't actually select the blue dot because the, the chart gets in the way. But if I drag it like that, I can just put that over that side. Yeah, it doesn't work. Let's drag these down. We, we have to change that particular part of the program because you can see what happens when I try to move the circle around. Yuck. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm going to give up there. I'll just actually straighten that wire. And um, I'm just going to... Uh, edit the item and make the rotation for this one 90 degrees because uh, I'm just putting that at the, the top of you know I've stuffed up there okay it's not what I intended doing let's just delete those two wires what I wanted to do was make the amount of money outstanding on the 
uh, the loans to capitalists set the maximum value for those uh, two axes and then if I just do this to make it look slightly less ugly uh, drag those around there so that's indicating KL is setting both those values then I've got KD, FD and WD and what I don't have there is a banker equity so I'll take a copy of banker equity but as I said the bankers have to be in the black so I'll wire them up to the black input there and what happens if I run the model let's just hit the run key and see what turns up okay all those accounts stabilize there's a large amount of change of the amount of money that's there but you'll actually see that it's just been distributed between the different accounts and in fact I should actually now go and define that because the sum of these four amounts these four elements here is ah, pardon me I uh, didn't do that the right way uh, can think of a whole lot when they're highlighted type the classic control C for copy and then control V for paste and Minsky lets you place them somewhere on the canvas and then add them together so now if I have these four elements here I want to show that the sum of the amount of money in these four accounts is actually the amount of money in the economy and that is equivalent to the amount of the 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 liabilities plus equity of the banking sector are equal to the assets of the banking sector. Uh, so there's a hundred billion worth of loans, there's a hundred billion dollars worth of deposits plus bank equity. So type a plus key over here and I can now, one trick we do with Minsky to save space on this uh, graphical user interface here is we overload operators that can be overloaded. So if I drag this here, this is now bankers equity plus deposit account of capitalist plus deposit account of firms plus deposit account of workers is equal to the amount of M money in the economy. And I could even be fancy and say M2, but um, do I bother doing that? Yeah, why not? Okay, that's M2 as we defined it. That's the money created by the banking sector. And click OK there and drag that across. And I've now defined M2. I haven't got M1 yet because I haven't got um, government money creation as yet. Oh, there's the, the graph that I um, didn't ring across properly beforehand. So this is now the money supply. So I'll just label that. And what I now want to show is income. So I have output, copy of that item. and then we have wages dividends noisy part of the world here and interest payments, where's the I? boom boom boom, here we go, ok interest payments over here ok and now I can label these charts rather more uh, obviously so I'll use the options, if you double click by the way what you get I'll show you that in a moment, you don't uh, double clicking most things lets you come up and define them. Like double clicking there would let me define the godly table but double clicking here gives you a magnified version of the graph. Okay so I have bank accounts uh, the, the y-axis is the years of the simulation the amount of money is dollars and down here I have uh, incomes years and this is dollars per year. And now let's just uh, drag this around a bit and make the graphs much the same size and bring the whole lot up the top a bit, save a bit of space. Here we go again, more racket from the roadside outside. I think you're selling cars, I'm not sure. Okay, that's enough of that. I'll hit the simulate and then I'll turn it off. Okay, all right, come back in a moment.